don't see anything. Oh, me neither. Oh, hey, kid. Uh, we're just trying to figure something out here. Yeah, nope, nope. It's shiny, red, looks happy. Nope, nothing bad about this apple. I don't see it. Oh, oh, storyteller, I also do not see anything wrong with this apple. Look, it is shiny, it has a big happy face, and it almost looks like the apple wants to hug me. So, uh, maybe the title is a mistake. Okay. Okay, thank you, Dr. Dinosaur and Red Bear. I mean, I don't think the title is a mistake because, well, titles are never a mistake. Oh, no, for sure, this title is not a mistake. A well bear. Okay, what do you know that I don't know? Well, I knew the grandfather of this writer. Really? You knew Ernest Hemingway? Oh, yes. And I know that he was very, very smart. So I know that his grandson, this writer, is also very, very smart. But also, I, I'm confused. Why? Because that clearly looks like a very good, happy, shiny apple eye. Oh, I know. It can be confusing when the picture says one thing, but the title says bad apple, bad. I mean, usually we're able to see when something is bad, right? I feel like you're talking about me. No, no. <laughs> anyway, there must be some surprise inside and you and I are going to get to the bottom of it. So let's go. Let's see what this bad apple, and it's a tale of friendship, so it can't be bad. It's hard to make friends if you're bad, right? Unless, <laughs> unless you hang out with other bad people, that's right. <laughs> but she's always alone, so I, I don't think so. I don't think that works either. Okay, here we go. Mac was a good apple. Okay, everybody, did you hear that? It's a good apple, it's a Mac. Probably a Macintosh apple. Look at that, so red and shiny and happy looking. He shared his toys with other apples like a good apple does. Helped Granny Smith pick up after art class. Oh, oh we call her Abuela Smith. <laughs> that abuela bear and and mac loved to dive fearlessly into the watering holes look at that idyllic setting on a sunny day mac could bob for hours oh yeah because apples they're famous for their bobbing abilities maybe you've heard on cloudy days mac would search for the perfect pillow of green grass and take a long nap Look at this, could this be any more perfect? That soft green grass and this winding path and the clouds are hanging low over the mountains and there are trees and the temperature is exactly that perfect temperature that you love, that's the temperature in this place. In his dreams, it was always sunny, but one day as Mac lay sleeping, it began to rain. Oh, oh, wow, you know, that happens suddenly sometimes. Soon, all the little creatures in the earth around him poked their heads out to look for a higher ground. You know, all those little teeny tiny creatures. Sometimes when it rains, when I was in elementary school, all these worms would come out of nowhere and be all over the sidewalks. It was crazy. Also, snails. Does that ever happen to you where you are? Funny things come out when it's raining. All the little creatures in the earth around him poked their heads out to look for higher ground. Some of them found safety under the large toadstools. Others crawled onto stones and pebbles. But one small worm had, ding, another idea. Hmm. When Mac woke up, he was covered in raindrops and he wasn't alone. You won't believe the dream I just had. A funny little worm was tickling me right here. He's telling all the other creatures that came out, including this adorable ladybug and this beautiful butterfly. And now I can't seem to get him out of your head. It was you. And that's how Mac met Will. The beginning of a friendship, a beautiful friendship. And it all began on a beautiful place with a perfect temperature on a rainy day. Will showed Mac how to fly a kite. He's got some mad skills. And how to fly himself. Woo! And play in the dirt. He loved making a mess. <gasps> Any worms out there liking to make a mess? Anybody? Anybody? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. You know who you are. Mac took his new friend to the watering hole to clean off. Woo! Splash, you know how he loves diving into the water and the water is just so perfect, isn't it? He couldn't remember a better day. 
And that's how it is when you are hanging out with somebody who just gets you. You know what I mean, kid? Somebody who just loves you and gets you, finishes your sentences. Until, oh no, not until. Burr, burr, burr. He took Will to the orchard. Oh no, it was a perfect day until now. Why? Look at, look, this does not look good. Look at Mac. He's got worms. Yeah. Mac's a rotten apple. I, I'm not, I'm not rotten. I'm, I'm quite sweet actually. So they left. Of course they left. Everybody's making fun of them. I, well, ex actually, except Yellow Apple. Yellow Apple is like this. Wouldn't you be too? Everybody's taunting and calling names just because he has a non-Apple friend. Maybe, maybe y'all should expand your horizons. Will cheered Mac up by reading aloud from some of his favorite novels. Look at that. He's doing a kid time story time. He was a bit of a bookworm. Ah, get it? Worm. Bookworm. Yeah. Mac liked the adventure stories the best, like the ones that took him to outer space. space, 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 space. Where everything is possible. He also liked it when Will finished his sentences for him. The most exciting part is when pirates find treasure in the dirt. But the next day, it happened again. Ha ha ha! It's the bad apple! Ew! Worms! Oh, taunting! These apples are just a bunch of bullies who only like to hang out with people who look just like them, right? And no one in the orchard would play with them. Not even the crab apples. Bad apple, bad apple. Oh, and the yellow apple who's been watching quietly has a thought. Crab apples can be so mean. So true. How do you think they got their name? That night, the two friends sat alone on the grass without saying a word. In the morning, Will was nowhere to be found. You are a good apple. And then he, he drew the apple, and he drew a little sun, and it signed it, Will. Oh, no. He's not a bad apple, but now he is a sad apple with a tiny, tiny hole right here. Right there, see that? But probably also a tiny, tiny hole right here. Because they were tight. Mac went back to playing with his orchard friends. Little baseball. There's there's Yellow Apple still like this. Yellow Apple has been learning a lot, I think, like watching this whole process. Diving fearlessly into the watering hole and painting in Granny Smith's class, also known as Abuela Smith. But nothing was the same. Oh, look, he drew worms in the apples. He's got somebody on his mind, even though he isn't in his head anymore. There was a hole in Mac that he couldn't fill. Not a big hole, just a teeny tiny little, you know, a small hole just big enough to fit. Dot, dot, dot. And nobody finished his sentences, but we know what the rest of that sentence is, don't we? A small hole just big enough to fit. You know who, his best friend. Meanwhile, He's looking at his reflection in the glassy-like lake, thinking probably about the good times that they shared. Yellow Apple is quietly watching in the distance, still observing, still learning. Hmm. Mac decided he had to find Will. Bum, 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 bum. We're on a mission, people. Bum, 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 bum. Mac had to find Will. He searched low, and then he searched high. That's why he needed a ladder. And then he searched in between. Don't worry, little guy, we're just looking for somebody. Hey, he searched in the dirt, around the watering hole, and just when he had given up all hope, just like in the movies, because you are searching and searching and you're just about to give up hope, hopefully something good is about to happen on the next page. He looked up in the sky, half a mile to the clearing, and we see this beautiful sky. It's like autumn is setting in now. That's right, because autumn is apple season. And we see a kite in the distance. And... Ah! Ah! No words needed.
needed because the picture tells the whole story. He's not a bad or a sad apple anymore. He's just a happy apple and there's his bestie and there are his kid time story times and he was flying a kite and all the insects are there, including the ladybug and the butterfly and the grasshopper uh, and the praying mantis. Everybody's here to see the happy reunion among friends. Oh. Mac knew that he would rather be a bad apple with Will than a sad apple without him. I was hoping I could help me turn the pages. How did you know? Because you will always be a good apple in my book. Oh, they're back together again. And you know why that is? Because... That's his person. Well, his worm. And the worm, that's his apple. That's how that goes. Yeah. I mean, you have a person, right? You have a person, or maybe you have a, a dog, or maybe you have, you know, another human. Uh, but in this case, it's an apple and a worm. Good and happy. And there's nothing bad about that. But Storyteller, that is crazy. Why do you say that, Dr. Dinosaur? If you could only be friends with people who were exactly like you, then we couldn't be best friends. No, and it would be very hard for me, actually, because there are not a lot of half dinos, half dragons. True story. Uh, a lot of bears out there, but you're my number one. You're my dino. Thank you. It's true. What was up with those apples only being like pro apple? Oh, it's true. If I only were friends with Ostriches, bop, 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 bop. then this beautiful friendship right here would never have happened. Oh, Fuchsia. Oh, Olivia. <laughs> True for me, too. Oh, yes, White Rat? Oh, yeah. If it wasn't for me being willing to be friends with people who weren't rats, I would never be best friends with cheese. Okay, you can't be best friends with cheese because you can't eat your friends? Who says? Ah! <laughs> oh, and I have another example. If I was only friends with, like, other grown-ups or other storytellers or other redheads, I would not be able to be friends with a kid like you. And that, that would be real bad. <laughs>